everybody. Today we are here in SMK College of Applied Sciences and uh, we are here today to discuss uh, IT field and uh, to have a discussion about different study programs in SMK. Uh, my name is Diriana. I'm head of international admission here in SMK, also SMK alumni. Um, and I'm joined today by Toprak, who is a student of uh, programming and multimedia here. Yes. Uh, first year, right? Yeah, I'm first year. Okay, great. Uh, so I'm gonna have a few questions for you, and uh, let's let's have some fun during during the video. Okay. Um, so maybe first of all, you could tell me why did you choose uh, programming and multimedia? And also, I have heard that you were choosing uh, computer games and animation. Yeah. So why interest in those? Why did you? Why was it your choice? Uh, so my first choice was um, choosing computer games and animation because it gives you more creativity and more space to express yourself in. Most more files because uh, in that program you learn how to do animation, you know how to do games, and you basically know uh, learn how to do the basic um, programming parts, and it's like um, so big file that you can work on. You can improve yourself in like most ways. You can find so many other ways that you can go after graduating computer games and animation. Um, but it didn't open, so I choose to study programming because uh, programming also gives you a good way to kind of express yourself. You can improve yourself in programming as well. There's a lot of ch um, chance that you can follow. There's so many paths that you can follow. For example, I after I graduate, I can uh, take a course on how to make games and I can uh, still do my games or I can directly go to IT field and study work in IT field. And it's kind of good to programming requires uh, fast problem solving and analyzing. And I kind of love doing that kind of thing. So that's why I choose them. Mm -hmm. And why in general, why why does IT field sound interesting for you? Um, it's growing every day. Every day there is new inventions, for example, AI and other things. And if you're working with computers, there's always be a something that you need to do. Like this, this job can't be like denied in the future because we will need someone who knows how to use computers in any way. And which of the out of the professions seems the most like you know fun for you? Like, is it animation? Is it uh, you know design or? For me, for now, I don't know what to do exactly, but I will see what I will do in the future with taking the steps and learning more. Because every day I learn a bit more about programming, and every day my ideas are changing. So for now, I can't say something for that. Mm -hmm. And with, um, in general, maybe you have any plans, you know, if you'd like to stay in Lithuania after your studies, if you'd like back, like uh, to move back to your country, to ex explore somewhere else. So do you have any plans, you know, like may maybe you'd like to go to USA, you know, work in the super fancy companies of, of IT? Uh, I will probably stay in Lithuania because I love Lithuania. I don't know. <laughs> also, I will planning to learn the language so I will probably stay for a long time but if I have another plans I might move to another country in Europe maybe but probably I will stay in Lithuania. And what do you know about Lithuanian IT industry? We have a lot of startups here you know that started from from here like Vinted and so on and uh, but uh, do you have you know any preferences in which one you would have to have internship in or you know how do you feel about uh, IT field in Lithuania in general? I didn't did do a research about that especially, but I just know that in Lithuania there is a lot of companies uh, focused on IT files and they're growing fast and um, it's so easy to find the opportunity to do your internship and your um, career path. So Lithuania is one of the best uh, places in Europe to improve yourself in IT field. I know that. And do you feel like uh, it's possible to do it with English language? You know, yeah, it is possible not because uh, yeah. most of the IT field requires English because uh, programming languages are based on English. So they need to know like a basic English to program. And 
while learning to like the basic English, they kind of know how to communicate. So it's kind of easy to find the English jobs in Lithuania as well. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, if you come back a bit to the past, so probably you are inspired by some games or some projects, yeah. uh, right? So maybe if you had a chance of working or like working on the project or some game, uh that is already created or mm-hmm. being created, uh, what would you choose? Uh, for the company, for games, I would choose Rockstar Games because I love their work. They are like so open. Most of their games are like uh, kind of open world. So like uh, you are free to one point. You can do whatever you want, kind of. Like you can live your life in the game and it's kind of like escape reality. Uh for if I give an example for games, I would say um Sims because it's like one of the most incredible games in history. Um because it gives you like you can literally do anything you want. You can build your home, you can build a family, you can study, <laughs> you can do anything you want in that game. Uh for the animation part, movies. I really love SpongeBob. I have a tattoo of SpongeBob. <laughs> um, it was my whole childhood and it was like so incredibly funny. It's still so funny. I still watch it every day. Um, I would love to work with that um, cast because I think they're so funny. Also, Cars, Toy Story and most of the Disney movies, they're like, they look so fun to work with. Like imagine doing the animation of cars or toy story like it's just so funny and it gives comfort but do you think out of the subjects that you have studied so far of course you're in the first year and yeah. a long way to go but do you think any subjects that you have studied can help you you know work with uh, multiplication mm. with animating it because i think like um, of course you have to be like kind of artistic to mm-hmm. work in there but there are a lot of also technical skills yeah that are required you know for the cgi And things like that. Uh, for now, the things that I'm I'm, I'm studying is uh, just focused on programming. So I'm just learning the programming languages, and I'm also learning um, how to manage IT department. So for now, I can't really say that I will be able to work on animation file or like CGI and other things. But um, I think I will have a bit of a background after I graduate this um, course. So after that, I can take like some little courses to have like animation certificate or something and I will be good to go. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Um, and uh, maybe you could, um, you know, recommend to people who are thinking of applying to SMK who are, you know, thinking of coming to Lithuania in general. Would you give any advice for people who are thinking about IT industry here? Should they study mathematics very hardly, you know? I mean, for mathematics, the mathematics that we are seeing is, um, how do you say, I, I forgot the name, but it's like improved mathematics. So you learn algebra and matrix and other things. So if you're like interesting in writing um, pages of numbers, you can come. <laughs> um, no, but you cannot do anything in IT without... You know, yeah, the basics, you can so. do. But uh, at one point, you need to learn the mathematics side. But it's not that hard, actually. It's If you understand, it's so fun. Uh, I really enjoy doing it. Sometimes. Depends. Um, for the... What did you ask? <laughs> <laughs> Any advices for people who are coming here? Oh, so if you're coming from a warmer climate, it might be hard. But for me, it's not. I, I really love cold. But um, since we have global warming, I don't think it will be a big problem. <laughs> You're very optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> Because this year we didn't have a winter. Well, now there is still snow. But it's not cold. It's kind of good. <laughs> not for the world. Uh, do you have uh, snow in your city where yeah. you usually live? Yeah. So I, not... Actually, now we have more snow in Istanbul than here. Hmm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so going to uh, to colder <laughs> country home. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, and besides the weather, anything that they need to you know prepare any subjects uh, or any or is subjects? it okay to to start off you know with, with the knowledge that you get from the school? Uh, I mean, I came with like zero knowledge uh, with programming, and 
I didn't know algebra and things in mathematics, but I had like a basic mathematics background because I didn't really focus on my studies in high school. Uh, but I came with like zero knowledge and uh, now I'm surviving my degree and uh, I manage everything so they can come with like zero knowledge and they will be fine because I came like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming back uh, general to Lithuania, so how would you compare, you know, Turkey versus life in Lithuania and what do you like about it? Actually, for cultural sides, we have something like so many similarities, kind of like um, some of the foods kind of similar. Uh, people, depending on the people, they're kind of similar. But in Turkey, we are like uh, when you go to a shop and you don't know anyone, but the shop owner will be like, oh, hi, Mer I speak Turkish. Um, <laughs> they will directly start speaking with you. Like they will ask you your family, your job, your studies. They will just in Lithuania. It's not existing. Also, we in Turkey love um, small talks on the way. In Lithuania, they don't do that, which is I love because I don't like talking. So they're more introverted, and. They live in their own lives. They don't judge, uh, except old people. <laughs> I think uh, I think the small talks and all the parts also kind of depend on knowledge of Lithuanian. Yes. Yeah. So so maybe they do have a small talk. You just didn't unlock that level yet. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, great. Uh, and uh, for you, what uh, do you enjoy in SMK as well? What what makes the studies and the experience special for you? For me, I really love the ISM part, uh, the activities and events we are doing and the Erasmus because the Erasmus brings so many different cultures to the uh, one room and we can just discuss for the different topics we have in our own countries for like months and we go out, we hang out. And teachers also are like um, not so strict when it's out of the class. Like uh, you can go with your teachers and talk. You can have a coffee with your teachers. So it's like so friendly environment. Uh, you don't feel like um, you are forced to do something. You're just doing what you love. And... Everyone is like so uh, patient with you and socializing is really easy. Mm -hmm. uh, and you mentioned Erasmus, so, and also ISN. Um, so regarding the Erasmus, so are you planning on going anywhere for Erasmus experience, for exchange uh, abroad somewhere? Uh, I might go to Erasmus next year because I want to go to Erasmus, but... I don't know which country I will go. Maybe Romania because I have a friend in Romania that I didn't see in like three years. <laughs> I might go there to see her. Well, for studies, for old friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, Germany is a good option for my file as well. Also, I kind of know a bit German, so better. I also know German culture and German people. Well, because my mom grew up in Germany and she's like a German. So I will probably go for Erasmus to experience and put more experience on my list. Yeah, but uh, I believe it's going to be a bit easier for you since you're already international student. Yeah. You already had to make that step, you know, into, yes. into the unknown. So. Maybe you could say what is your like you know, in the most enjoyable part of uh, being in a new country, having a new experience, having new friends. So, which what what do you enjoy the most? What what well, living you? alone, living alone, <laughs> <laughs> being independent. Yes, living alone is the best part. Even though it's so hard, but it feels good. Why is it hard? You need to clean. You need to cook. <laughs> you need to survive. <laughs> Are you yeah. being successful so far? Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So, 
yes, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for sharing your experience. Thank you for sharing your plans. Thank you for coming up today. Um, I hope it helps, uh, you know, to the people who are considering the IT programs of studying at SMK. I hope it helps them make the choice, understand that it uh, it doesn't require a lot of, um, you know, special knowledge yeah. or it don't need to be Einstein to, to study Yeah, I'm not IT. Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you would like to try yourself in the IT field and programming multimedia or in the computer games and animation, so feel free to submit your application to apply at uh, apply.smk.lt and and uh, me as admission manager is going to have a talk with you as well. And uh, you're going to join great international community. You still have a chance of uh, even studying with Top Rocket at some yeah, point. Please, please go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want my program to open. <laughs> uh, yeah. So thank you very much. And uh, I wish you all uh, success. Yeah. I wish, I wish to see you guys here because we need more people. <laughs>